now let us look at sequence detectors okay sequence detectors are also very similar to your sequence generators okay in this case you have to just look for inputs as well okay as we had seen over here here the inputs was absent okay we were generating the sequence as outputs okay in a sequence detector the output would be either 1 or 0 it would be 1 when a particular sequence has been detected okay and your inputs would be the sequence digits okay so let's take an example and understand what is happening okay what i want is you have to realize a sequence detector okay for this sequence 1 0 0 1 okay whenever this sequence comes you should detect it detect means you should give me a high output okay you do this using using d flip flops okay so this is what i want so first what i am going to do is i am going to tell you how to represent this sequence okay what we can do is similar concept corresponding to each of this digit we can have a state okay so i'm going to have a initial state i'm going to say that it is a okay whenever you give one okay this goes to b okay so when you give one it goes to b and gives a output zero indicating the sequence is not as yet detected it has detected only one sequence would be detected when you have 1 0 0 1 as input as consecutive inputs okay from b whenever i get zero okay i'm going to go to c okay and the output is still zero i have not detected the entire sequence rather i have detected only 1 0 up till now okay now when the output is or when the input is one more zero i go to d okay i have detected only 1 0 0 up till now therefore output is still zero again when your input is 1 you go to e and you say you have detected only 1 0 0 so output is again 0 now if you get a 0 now okay you get a 0 then you can say that you have detected the full sequence 1 0 0 1 okay and you can say that the output is 1 okay so this is going to be your partial state diagram okay i say this is partial because i have not told you what happens when i get a 0 over here or what happens when i get a 1 over here so even those things we have to take care of so now let's see when you get a 0 over here okay when you get a zero over here this is your initial state okay so basically you're talking about a zero so you can still remain at a okay you are getting a zero your output is still zero because you have detected only zero you start something whenever you detect a one okay you start assuming that you are going to get this entire string when first of all you get a 1 okay if you do not get a 1 then you stay in a state only okay now so this was about a what happens when it gets a 0 and what happens when it gets a 1 now let's look at b b state indicates that first one is received okay it indicates that first one is received